welcome to another video this video is going to be my finals preparation video wherein I am not at all prepared for my finals and I have my practical starting tomorrow Monday the next Monday we have finals starting for the rest of the month all this week I was really trying hard to study but I just could not get myself to studying and today I have fever out of nowhere but anyways we are good to go now I'm really freaking out right now but I'm trying to be calm let us start with the planning first because of course we need to plan first, yeah. After I did the full planning of how I'm going to study for the month and what all topics I left to do and how much time is required to do them, I started with the last unit of client side scripting. I would say that this semester was one of the most toughest to get through because this is our final year of Polytechnic in Integrated BTEC and we are supposed to do a lot of things at once and it was difficult to you know manage through everything. Anyways we somehow got through it and here I am just taking care of my throat because I got throat infection. On this day, I had the practical for client-side scripting, which includes simpler codes. But there are other subjects and branches like mechanics, thermodynamics and machine learning, wherein we need to calculate accurately. For this, the Casio calculator comes in handy. When talking of engineering, precise and efficient tools are very important. From electrical circuits to thermodynamics, this calculator functions as a versatile aid. It helps in solving complex equations, conducts statistical analysis and handles metrics. All in one solution for engineering computations. I'm talking about the Casio ClassFix FX991CW calculator. As we learn machine learning problems or mechanical dynamics, this Casio calculator becomes more than just a tool. It becomes an integral part of understanding and mastering these engineering concepts. Now I would like to talk about the functionalities and usage of this beauty. The Casio ClassWiz FX991CW calculator boasts a natural textbook display. It supports a 5 into 45 spreadsheet grid with formulas and commands. The statistical functions include regressions and various probability distributions. Complex number computations and conversions are also available. This calculator supports vector operations that are enabled for 2D and 3D vectors. We can also solve proportions in different forms. We can solve equations including polynomials and inequalities. You can perform logs, derivatives and integrals on this calculator. If you are looking for a reliable study tool, this Casio calculator has to be a game changer for you. It is easy to use and the advanced functions make a difference. Make sure you check out the link in the description and see how it can boost your study sessions. The practical today was really good. Like it was one of the best practicals I've ever given. The code was easy, not that difficult. And the Viva questions, I was able to answer all of them. So that's good. Now I need to start preparing for the next one, which is mobile application development. And it is already 10 p.m. Uh, after I came home, I had fever. So I slept for hours and I took enough rest. I didn't have great sleep as well, so it was much needed. Now I will start uh, for the next practical. I just need to, uh, you know, study for the Viva because the practical part is not that difficult for the subject. This was mobile application development and really nobody takes it seriously, not even the teacher. So I did it for some time, but then I started with machine learning because I think it is one of the most important subjects of this semester. 
in this semester we had to choose an elective that we will be going forward with for the next three years of university and I chose machine learning over computer networks because I don't find computer networking that interesting as I find machine learning. Okay, it is 12.45 almost. Uh, I'm going to take a break from machine learning now and I think I have only had like around 50 grams of protein today so I'm going to go and make my uh, whey protein and I'll have it, I'll take a small break and then we will be back to ML. I am not a big fan of how this tastes. That's why I usually skip it and then I end up not, not you know, taking enough protein. It is already 12 a.m. Today was really good. The practical went really well. I had a really good sleep in the evening. I went to the gym. Now I'm really tired to study for Java, which is tomorrow. But I really, I really don't want to study for Java because I don't like the subject. I don't want to say it, but really, like I'm supposed to mug up those codes, those really big codes, and I, I don't like it at all. So I'm just going to study machine learning for now. I will go through the theory of uh, chapters of machine learning and maybe on the way to the college tomorrow I will uh, you know revise a little bit of Java for the practical I hope yeah I'm really tired so I will see how much I can do right now I won't push myself that much because I need one more rest I'm recovering there's no fever today the strong antibiotics are working of course all right let's start with machine learning I spent the full night writing, writing and writing these machine learning assignments. These were a lot, like a lot. And we had the full semester to complete them. I should have done it before, but I didn't. So this was the last moment and I was just completing them so that I can get it checked before the week ends. I started preparing for the last practical but honestly this was when it was just getting started we often talk about being disciplined so that we don't have to rely on motivation but for me this semester went by so quickly that i had no time to comprehend what to do and what to be and it was already final so i would say that just plan everything from the first day itself so that in the end you don't have to suffer
it is 1 20 right now and i still have to write one more of this i was so gone by this time but then i you know sort of gathered myself up and i was like i have to complete this and then i can sleep you know <laughs> and since it's the last practical there's some sort of achievement that i would feel in myself so i just you know kept going kept going slept a little kept going it is 3 30 and i'm done with everything of machine learning this was like a little challenging subject i've been doing it for the last three days instead of studying for the subjects and i'm finally done with everything before the practical that is good i'm going to sleep now and tomorrow uh it is at 9 30 so we won't get that much sleep but it is okay i will sleep now at 3 30 i will wake up at 7 30 i will leave at 8 i will reach there by 9 15 and the practical starts at 9 30 so everything will be fine i i would usually have some coffee in the morning after you know sleeping so less but i have stopped doing that i have stopped consuming coffee i only consume coffee before going to the gym but not when i've slept less or anything because that just messes up with my heart rhythms like you know the heart beats very fast after i have coffee so i'm not gonna do that anymore look at this energy this energy is from the happiness of completing all the assignments and all the submissions on time maybe a little late but it is okay i will see you tomorrow morning good night and with that, the practicals come to an end, but, you know, this final is left. And as I said, we are just getting started. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And do consider checking out the link in the description for the Casio calculator. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.